Welcome to Electro Online and now let's talk about the 401k plan. The 401k is the plan by which millions of people will save money for their retirement. And how does it work? Well, typically you get a job, you get a paycheck, and you take a small amount out of your paycheck every week or every two weeks, depending upon how you get paid, and you use that money and you put that money into what we call a 401k plan. It's a tax deferred plan, which means for every dollar you take out of your paycheck, you don't have to pay taxes on that. So, for example, if you have Jim who earns $1,000 per week and he decides that he's going to put $100 that $1,000 every week into a 401k plan, he will get taxes if he only earns $900 instead of $1,000. So there's a tax advantage to that. And then the, the money that you put into a 401k plan will grow without getting taxed. So all the interest you earn on that will also not get taxed and you don't get taxed on the amount until you start taking money out after you retire and you use it in your retirement. So it's what we call a tax deferred plan. So how does it work? Well, let's say Jim earns $1,000 per week and he pays $200 per week in taxes. So his net take home pay would be $800 a week. What if he puts $100 a week into a 401k plan? Well, then he only gets taxed on $900. And let's say then his taxes dropped $170 because he is now in a lower income bracket and so he pays a smaller percentage. Now these numbers are not exact numbers but they're just representative numbers. So now let's say his take home pay is $730 per week. So by taking $100 and putting it into a savings account, he takes home $70 less. That's a pretty good deal. So you save $100 and you get only $70 less in your net pay. Sometimes the employer will also add some money to your 401k plan. It's called a matching plan. It may be as much as 2 to 4%, which is another $20 or $40 per week may be put into your 401k savings plan. If it's 4% and the employer gives you another $40 per week, then by only losing $70 per week in net pay, you could be saving $140 per week tax-free. That's a pretty good deal. And so let's take the future value equation. So it's the same thing. You get $100 every week. You have 52 payments per year and for 40 years, let's say you start at age 25, when you're 65, you retire, you've done this for 40 years, how much money would you have into your, in your account? So using the future value equation, we take 0 0.06 divided by 52, we add one to that and we raise that to the, so we have the X to the Y button, we raise that to the 26 times, oh, not 26, this should be 52 because there's 52 payments. So let's do that. So it's 52 times 40, like that. And then we subtract 1 from that, so minus 1. We div multiply that times 52 because dividing by this is like multiplying by its inverse. So we times 52 divided by 0 0.06, and we multiply that times 100. And so that person, Jim, would have, after 40 years, 867000 $354.42 in his 401k. And then he can retire and start drawing money out of that for the rest of his life. Well, how much did that cost him? How much did it have to come out of his paycheck? And so even though he took $100 out of his paycheck, it really only cost him $70 per week. So he, he took home how much money less than, than what he could have and how much did he end up with? All right, so we take 40 years, 52 payments per year and $70 of lost money. And so it only cost him $145,600 to have $867,000 in the bank when he retired. A really good deal. So he could have said, well, in the short term, I want a little extra take home pay. He probably would have spent it because he had it in his pocket. He would not have saved it. This is a forced savings. That's the best kind of savings because as human beings, we don't like to take money out of our pocket, put it in the bank, but if it's done before we get it, it's a lot easier. You end up with this much money in the bank at the time of your retirement, and you just get to spend this much less during that time. So this is a really good return. And this is also assuming no matching funds from the employer. Imagine if we had another $40 per week of matching funds, it would be well over a million dollars in the bank for something like that. That's almost a 10 to one return. Really good deal. 401k plans are great and there's almost no excuse not to start one. Even if you can't afford $100 a week, if you can afford only $10 a week or $20 a week, that is well worth it because there'll be a sizable amount of money in the bank when you, start, when you are ready to retire. 
And that's how 401k plans work.